four point hip abduction. I'm going to show you and then I'm going to let you do it. Let's do it this way, okay? So this is a level one end range, ERE end range expansion sequence. The same thing we did before. Get as high as you can without doing this. Okay. Inch it out. Once you feel like you're there, make sure your elbow's straight. Don't move the knee in space. Totally straighten. Hold it there. You hold it there. You let it down nice and slow. And then you try to pull the floor towards your other knee and really squeeze the adductors. Hold that for a couple of slow breaths and then release. Okay, that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna talk you through it. Travis has done this one. All right, has Travis shown you this one? Okay, good. Okay, so horizontal abduction. Don't move the spine. Get that knee out like you're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. <laughs> Are we still like flexing it up for this one? No. no, no flexing it up. Elbow stay straight. You just drank a full toilet bowl of water <laughs> and you're taking a huge piss on a fire hydrant. Okay, keep the knee right where it is. Don't move the knee as you extend the knee. Try to hold it off the ground. And then bring it down slow. So chill here for a sec, look where your foot is. Your foot, you're aiming to keep it in line with your knee, your other knee. So most people it gets kind of back. You want to right out to the side without, that's where you place it down. Okay. It's From like the heel is in line? Yeah, the foot, somewhere. Oh. A lot of people get, end up quite far back. So, so the, stay here and then grab, bring your foot towards your other knee. Try to squeeze the floor. Adductors on both sides. So you're squeezing the knee, the other knee. Both adductors on both sides. Trying to pinch the floor. Yeah. Horizontal hip abduction, adduction. Fire those babies up. And then keep release gradually, stay in position. Don't move. So anybody who cheated, I'm gonna find you right now. <laughs> Don't move, bring your foot off the ground. <laughs> Look at you guys, you cheaters. You dirty cheaters. Okay, let it down slow. And adduct again if you can, or if you have to take a break, go. Adductors again. So try to bring it up higher. Sorry, I forgot your name. Miriam. Miriam. Try to bring it up higher. Keep your <laughs> hip down. And don't shift your hips over to the side. Don't move. Get it higher. But don't move your hips. Don't move your hips. Yeah. Just the hip. Don't move the pelvis. Activate the hips. Okay, let's take a break when you're done. How's that feel? No? Good? More, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so obviously, if you like kicking, that stuff. I know, is this on? Excellent. Yeah, it's on. I'd really prefer it's just on. Okay, come aside, come up here. Yeah, well, you move right here. Okay, so that's four point hip abduction. It's like a level one. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Do you ever think so I kick with my right leg? Like, no, so right? yeah. <laughs> like yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna watch you and just talk through this one because I want to watch you guys. So get in good alignment on the four point. Okay, and keep your knee bent. Horizontal abduction. The other side. Actually, I totally forgot. I was not gonna do the other side. Thanks, Nathan. Yep. Push that knee out. Don't move the spine. 
bring this up a little higher, a little more flexion, higher. A little more flexion like this, yeah. Okay, Nathan, oh, there it is. Right. Okay, now straighten the knee slowly. Don't move the knee in space. Extend the knee. Picture the knee in space. Don't let it move when you straighten that knee. Keep everything else in alignment. Keep the foot up off the ground. Oh, okay. Keep those elbows straight. Elbows straight, both of them. Breathe. Okay, place it down slow, gradually, and softly. Then go into adduction. Squeeze the adductors. Try to bring the foot towards the knee and the knee towards the foot. Am I pressing through the side of my foot or are you supposed to like flatten the foot out? You can flatten if you can. Or inversion? You can totally flat, yep. Inversion. If you can, if you can't, go just the side of your foot. I feel that in my shape. Keep both the knee straight, the knee that's out. Keep it straight. Okay. And then gradually relax. Don't move your positioning of your body and lift the foot off the ground. See how you shifted all the way over here? Stay there. Now lift it off the ground. Stay over. There you go. Yep. And then put it down nice and gentle. Okay, so Jazz is doing something. She was keeping her knee bent because I think it was just getting too intense with the knee straight. Is that correct? Uh, you, keep, you kept your knee bent. Uh, so as opposed to doing this, you were working here. Was that right or no? Uh, I think I was struggling a little bit. I was just trying to find, trying to release a cramp. Release a cramp, yeah, totally. So all I was going to say is if, you're, if it's just too intense where you can't do anything, then you do that. Just shorten the lever. You're still working the same muscles. Yeah. So what I like to do is, it's, this is like, think of it as like a one rep max, max strength training type of set. Do a couple sets of this, and then do a couple sets with just knee bent. So you're further getting into that endurance. This is like PAP training? Yeah, totally. Apply the exact same principles you do to strength stuff. You could do it here. Reps, sets, progression, rest times, all that stuff. Okay, so that's four point hip abduction.